Let's kick start this episode with truly unique piece, a 1964 Black Beauty Jefferson Nickel. This captivating error coin stands out with a distinctive dark toning that covers over half of the obverse. This is not a result of tarnish or oxidation, but a fascinating mint error known as improper annealing. Improperly annealed planchet error occurs during the coin minting process and results in coins like the Black Beauty Jefferson Nickel, the annealing process involves heating metal planchets to specific temperature to soften them, making them easier to strike into coins. If the planchets are heated to the wrong temperature or for an incorrect amount of time during annealing, they do not achieve the proper softness and consistency. After annealing, planchets need to cool down properly. If this cooling process is rushed or uneven, it can result in improper annealing. The value of these nickels can vary significantly based on their grade. In lower circulated grades, they might fetch around $10 and $20. However, in higher grades, such mint states, such as mint states, their value can soar. With MS65 examples commanding $5,200 even more, collectors highly prize these error coins for unique appearance and rarity, making them valuable addition to any numismatic collection. The 1966 Washington Quarter, a common coin in circulation, can vary widely in value based on its condition. In circulated grades, these quarters are typically worth face value, or slightly more to collectors, usually between $1 to $5 for grades up to VF30. In higher circulated grades like EF40 to AU58, values might range from $5 to $20. A valuable specimen of this coin, graded MS68 Plus by PCGS, stands out remarkably. This exquisite example boasts pristine looking surfaces with vivid multicolored peripheral toning, creating a target like distribution from the rims to the centers. The most varied colors appear under direct lighting. Fully struck lustres and exceptionally well preserved, this coin is likely unmatched among early date circulation strikes in the new copper nickel clad composition. It sold for an impressive $20,400 at Stax Bowers, highlighting its exceptional quality and rarity in such a high grade. The 1968 Lincoln Sand in circulated extremely fine condition holds modest value among collectors. In this grade, it might be worth around $0.25 cents to $0.50. Cents. The value can vary based on coin's condition and color designation, red, red-brown or brown. In lower circulated grades, a G4, VF20, these coins usually retain face value or slightly more generally ranging from $0.05 cents to $0.10. Cents. However, in higher grades such as mint state, the values increase significantly with MS65 examples fetching $5 to $10 or more. Collector, collectors appreciate well-preserved specimens, especially those with original luster and minimal wear, enhancing their appeal on market value. This beautiful specimen in Mint State 67 Red was sold for $408 at David Lawrence coin auctions. The 2000p Maryland State Quarter features George Washington on a verse designed by John Flanagan with inscription United States of America, Liberty, in God we trust, and the Mitmark P. The reverse designed by Thomas D. Rogers showcases the Maryland State House, the nation's oldest state capital, still in legislative use. Surrounding the State House are inscription Maryland 1788-2000, the Old Line State, and E Pluribus Unum. In circulated grades, these quarters are generally worth face value. In uncirculated grades, the value can range from $1 to $3. Higher grades, such as MS65, can fetch around $5 to $10, while exceptional, specimen, while exceptional specimens in MS67 or higher may be worth $20 or more. One valuable specimen in Minsta 68 was sold for $163 at Great Collections Auction. The 1963 Jefferson Nickel, particularly from Philadelphia Mint, is known for its 
superior overall quality compared to its Denver Mint counterparts. Despite this, finding a really desirable specimen can be challenging due to increased die set distance used to sustain high mintages, which led to incomplete die fields and exposed rough planchet areas on high points. In circulated grade, these nickels typically hold modest value, ranging from 10 cents to 50 cents. In higher grades, like extremely fine or about uncirculated, values can range from $1 to $3. In uncirculated grades, especially MS65, values increase to $10 to $20. Although there are numerous double dies for 1963 nickels, these are most confined to proofs with poor striking, likely obscuring any doubling in non-proof coins. One valuable specimen in mint state 67 with full steps definition was sold for $2,520 in 2024 at 30 auctions. And lastly, this is 1969 Lincoln set in circulated, slightly tarnished and worn condition. The 1969 P. Lincoln set, minted in Philadelphia, features Abraham Lincoln obverse, designed by Victor David Brenner, with inscription in God We Trust, Liberty, and the date 1969. The reverse, also designed by Brenner, depicts Lincoln Memorial with inscription United States of America, E Pluribus Unum, and one cent. 1969 P. Lincoln sent is easy to find up to about MS65 condition. In MS66 condition, it's little scarcer, but with enough searching rules or mint sets, an example can, easil can easily be found. In MS67, it is a much tougher coin to locate, and anything grading higher than MS67 is extremely difficult to find. In circulated grades, these cents usually hold face value or slightly more, typically ranging from 5 cents to 20 cents. In higher circulated grades, like extremely fine or about uncirculated, they can be valued between 20 cents and 50 cents. In uncirculated grades, especially MS65, the value increases to about 5 to 10. Exceptionally high grade specimens or those with significant red coloration, so called superb gems, fetch even higher prices. For example, this MS67 red graded specimen was sold for $216 at heritage auctions. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of US coins and their potential value in higher grades. We hope you found this video informative and exciting. If you have any of these coins, let us know in comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy collecting and see you in the next video.